Miami, home to 1 million pets, 500 species, and over 2 million residents. Who's there to protect them when their worlds collide? A specialist squad of animal agents united by one mission. These are the Miami Animal Cops. This can be a tough job because, you know, you run into some hard situations. It's hard to leave everything at the office, obviously, you know, especially when you, you have an ongoing case. You know, you're always thinking about an animal from the day you wake up until you go to sleep. Hello, animal services! His latest case is in North Miami. A call has come into the ASD about a mother dog and her three puppies, which are in desperate need of help. He spots the mother dog. Right away, he can see that she's suffering from a skin condition. But first, he needs to establish who she belongs to. Okay, so this dog, the, the female and the puppies don't belong to you? We have a, a dog that was abandoned by a friend of theirs here on their property, um, and apparently the dogs had a couple puppies. It seems like a straightforward case, but as Boyette starts to search the property for her puppies, he spots something in the neighboring yard. This pup's very close to death. We're gonna have to get her straight in and hopefully maybe putting some fluids in her. She may spring back up. Hey, mama. Here's your baby. There's no excuse for this. Um, even though she's not the owner of the dog, she sh should still be held responsible for um, we're allowing you know, the, these dogs to come on and off the property, and, and uh, obviously they're, they're malnourished, they have skin condition. You guys find those other two puppies? The other two puppies really have a slight chance of, of, of surviving because uh, you know, it's so hot. <clears throat> nobody's providing water for them, nobody's feeding them. Um, they're pretty much uh, trying to survive you know, on their own. Boyette has a dilemma. There may be two more puppies on the property that can quickly dehydrate in the 80 degree heat, but without help, the little puppy doesn't have long to live. My main concern is gonna to be to get the puppy in as soon as possible. He decides to leave the mother dog for now so she can nurse any remaining pups while he rushes back to the shelter, hoping that for the little puppy, it's not already too late. In North Miami, investigator Gary Boyette is heading back to the location where he discovered a dying puppy. Sadly, vets at the shelter were unable to save it. And although the homeowners claimed the dog wasn't theirs, today Boyette wants justice. They showed no remorse towards the puppy that, I, that was almost dead. You know, I did tell them that I was going to be back with the mother, so uh, I'm sure they're going to be surprised to see me today. And I I'm definitely going to hold them responsible. Boyette's teammate, investigator Adrian Diaz, is waiting for him at the house. There's still no sign of the other two puppies, but the mother dog named Gucci is tied up in the yard. The female? Dog's there. The female? Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Did you guys find the puppies? Uh, they gone. No? Nowhere? While Boyette right. questions one of the residents, Diaz goes to get Gucci. The dog's in really, really poor conditions. And she's such a good dog, too. She's really friendly. She just wants to be petted. Huh? They don't pet you, huh? They don't pet you here? Hmm? This makes me sick. Because why would you have a dog in this condition? Look at this. She got flies all around her like she was a horse. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. And you're a good dog. And you're a good dog. Huh? It's a good dog. DS suspects that mange could be the reason for her hair loss a condition that's easily avoided. And these people have just been neglectful. It always comes back to the same thing. I mean, they treat them like they're, you know, second-class citizens, which it's not right. If you're gonna have a dog, the least you can do is treat them the right way. Right now, I'm gonna issue uh, two citations for cruelty to animals. Um, the citations are gonna be based on 
uh, failure to provide necessary sustenance for the, uh, the mother that we have here and also the puppy that was picked up yesterday. Yeah. If I could find the other puppies, depending on their condition, they may receive uh, additional citations. Do they know they're getting tickets? No. Oh so don't say nothing. Pleasant surprise. Okay. How many tickets are we citing? Two. Two. Nice. Um, Small price to pay. I don't think there's any excuse for, for people neglecting their animals. Um, I think it goes along with, uh, you know, neglecting your child. So uh, if they get caught, they get what they deserve. These tickets are for cruelty to animals, <laughs> failure to provide necessary sustenance, all right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, the puppy, by the time I got it back to the clinic, he died, okay? So you're, you're actually lucky you're not getting arrested. All right, there's citations. It's $515 for each fine. If this isn't paid, they lien the property. The way I look at it is if you, if you wouldn't want to live a certain way, you know, don't expect that the dog's going to want to live that way or your cat's going to want to live that way or any animal's going to want to live that way. You know, if it's something that you wouldn't feel comfortable living in, don't make your animals live like that. We're going to check in, uh, one more time to see if uh, maybe we can find those other puppies. Oh, I don't see the other two. We're gonna have to go ahead and go in. You know, the sooner we get there, the better. Having lost one puppy and now separated from her others, life for Gucci has been unkind. And with her poor body and skin condition, she's an unlikely candidate for adoption. But the investigators will do what they can to give her the best chance of a brighter future. At the Animal Services Department in Northwest Miami, investigators Gary Boyette and Adrian Diaz have arrived back with Gucci, the three-year-old mother dog suffering from a severe skin condition. Although the day is drawing to a close, Diaz is anxious to get an accurate diagnosis that may determine her chances of adoption. When I first started with the department, I was a vet tech here, so I've done a lot of skin scrapes, taken a lot of blood. Um, I'm fairly good at it, so we are a little bit understaffed. So I'll go ahead and, you know, we can help out whenever we can. So I'll go ahead and do the skin scrape and everything on her. That way it takes the load off the other vet techs. Dr. Tanya, 67. Dr. Tanya, 67. Drawing a little tiny bit of blood. That way we can, we can tell whether it's, what kind of mange it is. Come on. We have definitely found the type of mange that, um, that Gucci has. It's uh, sarcoptic. Uh, also known as red mange. It definitely is uncomfortable for her. Imagine, you know, fire ants crawling all over you constantly and not being able to do anything about it. Well, now that she's with us, I mean, she's gonna get treated for it. She's not gonna have any more puppies because we will spay her, so all in all, I mean, this is, it's just a good outcome for her and then the rest of her life will be spent more pleasant. Okay. Thanks to Boyette and Diaz, Gucci will soon be on the road to recovery. Now, she has to face her final challenge of finding a family who will take her home. Remember Gucci? She's come a long way. She's healthy now. She's happy. And she loves kids and families, and she's ready for an adoption. You can go to pausefood.org, click on the adoption tab, and fill out an application.